In 1901, Chris O'Brien, the owner of Chicago's football team, purchased used and faded maroon jerseys from the University of Chicago. Fans of the team started calling the color of the uniforms Cardinal Red, thus giving the team a nickname. The team adopted the Cardinal Bird as part of its logo in 1947 and featured a Cardinal head on its helmet in 1960. The Cardinals moved from Chicago to St. Louis in 1960 and then to Arizona in 1988 where they play now. When a professional football team was created in Atlanta, a local radio station sponsored a Name the Team contest. Suggestions included Peaches, Vibrants, Lancers, Confederates, Firebirds, and Thrashers. Julia Elliott's submission of Falcons was chosen because she said, Falcons are proud and dignified with great courage and fight. It never drops its prey, it is deadly and has a great sporting tradition. When Art Modell moved the Browns to Baltimore in 1996, he attempted to buy back the Colts nickname. He was unsuccessful and a phone-in poll was conducted by the Baltimore Sun newspaper. Names considered included Railers, Bulldogs, Mustangs, and Steamers. Martyrs and Ravens were the two finalists. Ravens was chosen because it was a reference to Edgar Allan Poe's famous poem. Poe died and was buried in Baltimore. Buffalo's All-American football conference team named the Bison was looking to be renamed in 1947. Through a fan contest, the name chosen was Bills over Bullets, Nickels, and Blue Devils. Bills is a reference to frontiersman Buffalo Bill Cody. When Ralph Wilson acquired an AFL franchise in 1959, he decided to use the Bills nickname to pay homage to the former football team in Buffalo. Mark Richardson, team president and son of franchise owner, chose the Panthers nickname for Carolina's NFL franchise in 1995. He also picked out the team's color scheme of blue, silver, and black. When former football star George Hallis purchased the Chicago Staleys in 1922, he wanted to change the team's nickname. Since the team was going to play home games at Wrigley Field, along with Major League Baseball Chicago Cubs, he decided to continue with the theme and name the team the Chicago Bears. In 1968, Paul Brown, the team owner, general manager, and head coach of Cincinnati's AFL expansion franchise, decided to use the Bengals' nickname. He used it in honor of the Bengals football team that played in Cincinnati between 1937 and 1942. Fans of the team wanted the name Buckeyes, but Brown chose against it. The Cleveland Browns nickname came from a fan contest in 1945. It is either based off of the Brown Bomber nickname for boxer Joe Lewis, or in honor of Paul Brown, the team's first coach and GM. Paul Brown wanted the name to be the Cleveland Panthers, but a businessman in the area already owned the rights, so the team had to settle with the Browns. Dallas's NFL franchise began play in 1960, but still did not have a name. Originally, they were going to be called the Steers, but general manager Texas Schramm didn't want the team to be known as castrated cattle, so he changed it to the Rangers. Then he feared people would confuse the name with a local minor league baseball team, so he finally decided on Cowboys before the season began. In 1960, Denver's newly formed AFL team held a Name the Team contest. With 162 fan responses, the winning entry was Broncos, which was submitted with a 25-word essay. George Richards, a radio station executive, purchased the Portsmouth Spartans in 1934 and moved the team to Detroit. He renamed the team the Lions because it is similar to the Detroit Tigers, a baseball team that had a successful season that year. He is quoted as saying the Lion is a monarch of the jungle, and we hope to be the monarch of the league, as we all know that hasn't really worked out that well so far. The founder of the Green Bay Packers football team, Earl Lambeau, was employed at the Indian Packing Company. The company also sponsored his team, giving it the name The Packers. When the Indian Packing Company became the Acme Packing Company and then later closed, the nickname for the team stayed. Houston's 2002 expansion franchise became the sixth professional football team to be named the Texans. Team owner Bob McNair chose a nickname over Apollos and Stallions. The Baltimore Colts were named in honor of the region's history of horse breeding. When the franchise relocated to Indianapolis in 1984, the name stayed and made sense because of the history of horse racing in Indiana. A fan contest was conducted to name Jacksonville's expansion NFL team. Some of the names considered were Sharks and Stingrays. Jaguars was chosen because the oldest living Jaguar in North America lived in the Jacksonville Zoo. The franchise originally began as the Dallas Texans of the AFL in 1960. Owner Lamar Hunt moved the team to Kansas City in 1963 and wanted to change the name to better match the location. He considered Mules, Royals, and Stars, but decided to go with Chiefs. He picked the nickname because of the Native Americans that once lived in the area and Kansas City's mayor, H. Rowe Bartle, whose nickname was The Chief. In 1960, 
Baron Hilton, the owner of a Los Angeles football team, sponsored a Name the Team contest and promised the winner a trip to Mexico City. He chose Chargers as a nickname because he, liked, because he liked the charge rally cry that was played at the Los Angeles Coliseum. The team kept its nickname when it moved to San Diego and then back to LA in 2017. The Rams nickname was chosen by the team's owner Homer Marshman and general manager Damon Wetzel. Wetzel was a fan of Fordham University's Rams college football team. The Rams franchise originated in Cleveland in 1936, moved to Los Angeles in 1946, then again to St. Louis in 1994. They moved back to LA in 2016. A Name the Team contest was held in 1966 for Miami's AFL expansion franchise. There were almost 20,000 entries and 600 of the entries suggested Dolphins as the team's nickname. The team's owner, Joe Robbie, chose the name because he felt that the Dolphin is one of the fastest and smartest creatures in the sea. When Minnesota's football team joined the NFL in 1961, Burt Rose, its general manager, recommended Vikings to be the team name to the board of directors. He felt it represented both an aggressive person with the will to win and the Nordic tradition in the northern Midwest. The management group of Boston's original AFL franchise held a Name the Team contest in 1960. 74 fans suggested the team's nickname to be Patriots. The team name was changed from Boston to New England in 1971, but the nickname stayed. The city of New Orleans was awarded an NFL franchise on November 1, 1966, also known as All Saints Day. The New Orleans item newspaper held a Name the Team contest and the Saints was the most popular nickname among fans. Team owner John Meekum liked the name because it is a reference to the city's jazz heritage. Tim Mara, owner of New York's NFL team, took the New York Giants name from the baseball team that played in the city. This was the 1920s where baseball was the country's favorite sport and many football teams used the same names as baseball teams. When an investment group purchased a bankrupt New York Titans franchise in 1963, they wanted to change the name. They considered Dodgers, but Major League Baseball did not approve. Gotham's was also considered, but the idea of it being shortened to Goss was not liked. New York Burroughs was thought about, but again, not chosen. The team nickname chosen was Jets because Shea Stadium, where the team played, was close to LaGuardia Airport. Originally, the name decided on in 1960 for Oakland's football team was Seniors through a Name the Team contest. Fans of the team hated the nickname, so the team's investors decided to choose from the other name finalists being Raiders and Lakers. Raiders was eventually chosen. Bart Bell and Lud Ray purchased the bankrupt Frankfurt Yellow Jackets in 1933. The owners renamed the team to the Eagles in honor of the symbol of the National Recovery Act. This act, part of Roosevelt's New Deal, was popular at the time because it was during the Great Depression. Pittsburgh's football team and baseball team had the same Pirates name from 1933 till 1940. The football team's owner, Art Rooney, held a Rename the Team contest to change the name. Steelers was the nickname chosen because it honors the historic steel industry in Pittsburgh. San Francisco's All-American Football Conference team was given the name 49ers in 1946. The team is named after the settlers who traveled to California during the gold rush of 1849. When the team joined the NFL, the name stayed. A Name the Team contest was held in 1975 which gave Seattle's football team 1,700 unique names to choose from. Some of the names included Skippers, Pioneers, Lumberjacks, and Seagulls. They chose Seahawks because they wanted to represent the Osprey, a fish-eating hawk common in the Northwest. Sports writers and team representatives from Tampa Bay's NFL expansion franchise chose the team's name among 400 fan suggestions in 1975. They chose Buccaneers because it represents the Pirates who raided Florida's coast in the 17th century. After moving to Tennessee, the Oilers owner Bud Adams held a statewide contest to rename the team. Nicknames submitted included Tornadoes, Copperheads, South Stars, and Wranglers. Titans was chosen to reflect the strength, leadership, and heroic qualities. After buying the Boston Braves in 1933, George Marshall changed the team's name to the Redskins. It is in honor of Native American head coach William Lone Star Dietz. The name was kept when the team moved to Washington, D.C. in 1937. The name of the team has been controversial in the last few years, but it doesn't look like the current team owner is willing to change it. Thanks for watching the video guys, make sure you like the video, comment which NFL team should change their name, and click on one of these videos on screen.